episode 50, The Dreamer. Awaken the leader inside. Follow the path of leadership. Never give up. Never stop trying. Get up. Believe in yourself. Not every day is going to be easy, but you've got to challenge yourself. You need courage. Be ready. Stop waiting for it to happen. Go make it happen. Harness the power within. You were destined to be a leader. Follow the path of leadership. Awaken the leader inside. Episode 50, The Dreamer. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Dave Rubel-Kavan. I'm your host here at Awaken the Leader Inside, a show dedicated to your leadership journey. Remember, you are never alone. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We are at episode 50. Man, 50. I cannot believe how quickly that that came. So I'm just super excited uh, for you guys to join in. And if you're new, thank you for finding the show. I truly appreciate it. And so like every fifth episode, you guys, we talk about most motivation and you know I kind of sat on the fence for this one because I was I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to go because you know it's it's kind of a milestone episode for me and and then you know to tie that into motivation and so I was kind of struggling to come up with a good idea for this episode and so what I wanted to do is actually just kind of share how my journey got me to this point and the hardships that I faced and how I had to stay motivated and how I had to troubleshoot through it. And and that's still kind of a daily thing that's happening to me, you know, because it's it's difficult. It's, everything in life is challenging. Being a leader is never going to be easy as well. But you got to search for something that keeps you motivated. So I love doing motivational episodes because they help me remember and refocus that I need to to stay positive and stay motivated. So they help me too. So I, I thought it would be cool to somehow tie the 50th episode into how I was able to stay motivated through this entire journey. And uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys, okay? So I'm going to share a little bit of my backstory as I share this motivational uh, speech with you guys. Check it out. There were times that I really wanted to give up. There were so many moments that I, I just couldn't find the, the focus to keep myself motivated as I was juggling you know, the podcast, as I was juggling uh, family life, as I was juggling, um, you know, so many things in my life at the moment. And I realized the journey that I'm on right now is not going to be an easy one. I don't think, I don't think it ever is. But I'm going to share with you some things that I realized along this journey. I realized that not everybody's going to understand my vision and not everybody's going to understand you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing and not everybody's going to support it. And I realized that that happens to all of us, that we come up with some, some goal, some, something that we want to do. And we think that those that are closest to us will really embrace that idea. And the truth is that doesn't always happen. The truth is it rarely happens. And I experienced the same thing, you know, a year, year and a half ago, of wanting to to chase my dreams, wanting to share leadership, and uh, it's difficult. So we all go through stages where we may not have the support. But let me tell you something that I learned along that journey, something that I that stuck with me throughout that journey, is motivation is so important. Motivation will help you take the first step. But what's more important than motivation, because motivation will fade after a day, maybe after two, or maybe after the first hurdle that you hit that smacks you in the face. What was more important for me on this journey was to discover my passion. And I didn't discover it in the beginning. I discovered it as it was happening to me. I discovered it as I was growing uh, in the show and as I was growing with ideas that's when the passion bubbled to the surface for me. But I realized that passion kept me motivated through the hard times, kept me motivated when I didn't want to do this anymore. 
And there was many days, many, many days that I felt like that. And I'm sure you felt that way too throughout your journey. But when you discover your passion, it will become the tool that you're gonna need as you face challenges, as you face opportunities, as you face things that will derail your focus. And on my journey, I realized that it's up to me to remove those obstacles. It's up to me to open my own doors once I remove those obstacles. And sometimes those obstacles come in forms that we, we didn't expect. They come in as challenges that are sometimes friends, family. Sometimes it's your own motivation. Sometimes it's some barrier uh, that's preventing you from entering. Sometimes it's our own skill set. Now what I learned in this journey for myself, and this is my message to all of you out there, is I walked in with a set of skill sets about leadership. What I didn't have was the skill set to be a podcaster. I didn't have the skill set to produce and edit film. I didn't have the skill set to do some of these things, to do marketing. I didn't have that skill set. But the passion that I had drove me to learn, to learn because those were the barriers that I had. I had a great idea, but I didn't have the technical skills to execute those ideas, at least not yet. And when you're searching to, to make a difference, to, to catapult yourself into whatever direction or whatever passion that you have, you're going to have to recognize at some point you may not have the skill set to do it, but that's okay because that is what passion will drive you to do. It will, it will drive you to learn, to become a student again, to learn what's holding you back, to learn how to overcome obstacles or bring in additional resources to help you. So as we're hitting the 50 episode milestone, I look back and I, I can't even believe some of the things that we accomplished in the last year. I can't believe uh, how I was able to overcome some of these challenges. Some of them were personal. Some of them had to do with career. And some of them had to do with the show. But I knew that it was all a choice. That I was going to choose to continue to fight for what I believed in. And those choices have led me to this moment. This moment where I'm so proud of what we built. I'm so proud that I have an audience that appreciates these episodes. And I really, truly appreciate you guys. You are the future. And so as I reflect back on the last you know, 49 episodes, I want to share something else. And I want to share something with you that I encourage you to do yourself. This has been one of the greatest tools that I've ever used was simply recording and documenting how I felt. And many of the episodes are exactly that. They are just a reflection of what's happening to me at the moment. And I encourage you guys to do this because what it's taught me is it taught me how to reflect. And when I play back some of the episodes when I have a really difficult day, something amazing and un unexpected happens is I find myself listening to some of these episodes that help coach me through the moment right now to get past the hurdle. And that has become such an amazing kind of a strange sometimes to listen to myself coaching myself but but it's becoming an amazing tool to help me get through some of the hurdles so i am still growing just like you the growing never stops guys the growing never stops and i want to leave you with you can change your life you can change your career at any moment you can choose to go down a different path now, the challenges in our lives is that there's a reason not to. 
there will always be a reason whether it's financial whether it's you know some something that's preventing you from finding your passion but i just want to remind you that at what cost is that going to affect your happiness see our self happiness comes from us finding peace that we are doing something that makes a difference so that we feel like we are contributing in that and that we are making a difference if you have a passion you got to pursue it and if you haven't discovered your passion yet do something that makes you feel alive that makes you feel a certain way so don't feel bad right now if you don't know exactly what you want to do that's okay that's part of our journey that's part of life but find something that you care about find something that motivates you find something that you want to share with others and go pursue it and don't let anybody tell you that you can't because they will they will tell you you can't that's where you're different that's where you are going to change your stars because you can do this and together we can do this we can move the needle we can move the ball and we can change lives together So stay positive, stay focused, and I know you are going to change the world someday. And before I go, I'm going to share one last thing that happened to me. That sometimes we need a reminder of what we're doing has an impact on other people. So check it out cuz this reminded me why I'm doing what I'm doing. Hey David, I just want to tell you that when I heard your podcast, I was inspired. You inspired me. You're my inspiration. So, oh, I really wanted to thank you. Thank you for insp- inspiring me. If you get this message, I just want to tell you, thank you. You inspired me. You're a podcast host. I. I want to be a podcast host now. You inspired me. Thank you. Stay tuned for another episode. Always remember, awaken the leader inside.